All right. Hello, everyone. We are here with Madden tonight. It is going to be uh, Chris Rammers taking on Kuka College tonight. And it's going to be a uh, an Eagles mirror match as well. Uh, no audio tonight on the stream, so I'm going to be playing the lovely World of Warcraft classic intro music for you in the background. So I hope you like that. I hope you like that tune because it's all we're going to be hearing tonight aside from my voice. Uh, Chris Rammers starting on uh, defense here. He's going to be the uh, Dark Jersey Eagles his opponent, uh, TTV Wham Bam Cam, will be the light-colored uh, jerseyed Eagles, white jerseyed Eagles. And uh, that was a great stop from Chris uh, coming out here on uh, third down. Uh, Jalen Hurts gets hit as he throws. Had an open man, and they're actually going to go for it here, fourth and five uh, on this first drive. Let's see if Chris can get the stop. Open man in the flat, and he hits him. Converts on that fourth down. So it was a good stop by Chris, but uh, Kuka College comes out pretty aggressively. Goes for that one right off the rip. Here's a run by Swift out the left-hand side. Gets tackled from behind. Uh, gain of nine. Nice run there from Wham Bam Cam. Chris going to be dropping back into zone for this play. Another good run. Going to pick up the first down. Drive looked like it was going to get off to a bad start. But uh, Kuka College, that clutch fourth down conversion, has continued the drive and now has a bit of momentum on this first offensive drive. Another, big, another run to the right-hand side this time off tackle. And a gain of just two. Good stop there by Chris. Chris going to be using the uh, middle linebacker here. And it's going to be a draw run. Good blocking. And uh, it'll be a pickup of five. Third and three now. So Chris can get another stop here, although... Kuka has already shown that they're willing to go for it on fourth. Toss over the middle. Oh, and Smith going to haul that one in. First and goal now for Kuka College. It's going to be a blitz from Chris Rammers, and he stuffs that run. Yeah, I know. I'm leaning, Parker. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaning to the side. Oh, Chris on the rush. And uh, Wham Bam forced to throw it away. Third and goal now for Chris Ramers. Uh, on defense here, excuse me. Third and goal for Wham Bam. And it looks like it's going to be uh, another man-to-man -man coverage. I think sending one or two additional linebackers on the blitz. Yep, blitz coming. And... Uh, Wham Bam gets the ball out, but it's not a touchdown. It's going to be fourth and goal. It's going to be about one yard. One yard away, and Wham Bam actually going to call a timeout there. Did not like what he saw from the defensive setup from Chris Rammers. So here we go, fourth and goal. Kuka College putting it all on the line. Could come away from this drive with zero points. Got an open man across the middle, and he hits him. Great catch there as he goes hit as he caught the ball. But he pulls it in anyways, and it's going to be a touchdown for Wham Bam on the first drive. Off of two fourth down conversions. Uh, so really nicely played. Pretty aggressive play calling already from Kuka. Did not want to kick that field goal. Did not want to make that punt. Chris Ramers just needs... Needed one more stop on both of those fourth downs, but couldn't quite find it. Let's see if he can tighten up the defense. 
next possession. But now Chris will have a chance to tie things up on this next offensive possession. Oh, a bit of a squib kick. Weird. Uh, I think that was a mistake. As Oh, it's a fumble, but Chris Ramos recovers. That was risky. I don't know why he just dove in there. Uh, but really good field position to start now here on this drive for Chris Rammers. As he'll be starting on his own 39-yard line. So still a little over a minute and a half to play in the first quarter. So plenty of time for Chris to uh, get back into this one. Big running formation here. Yep, it is in fact going to be a run to the strong side. Oh, no, it's a play action. And Brown over the middle, and he's got room. He could go all the way. The 10, the 5. Touchdown, Chris Rammers. Beautiful play. Even had me fooled, and I could see the play call. <laughs> oh, I think Oh, I think that was uh, one of those RPOs. Yeah, I think that was a run-pass option. Uh, and a uh, really nice call here going for the pass. Gets that ball out really quick on that slant route. And then he's off to the races. And just like that, Chris Rammers ties it up. Only needed one play. And that kick is going to be good. No question about it. And we're tied up seven apiece. Kuka needed about 12 plays and four minutes. Chris needed one play and eight seconds. <laughs> and Wham Bam just going to let this one Ball out of the back of the end zone. <clears throat> and now Chris Rammer's on defense once again. I think that he uh, had a little bit, slightly more success when he brought some extra pressure, which we are seeing that he is going to be doing again on this play. That linebacker blitzing in through the gap, and that run is stuffed. Zero yard gain. Let's see if Chris decides to bring some pressure again or drop back in coverage this time. Shotgun formation here for Kuka College. Nothing really open. Dumps it down to the flat. And a uh, pickup of eight. Going to bring up third and two now for Wham Bam on, of Kuka College. A uh, big running formation here. This could be the exact same play. Nope, it's going to be a weak side run, and it's immediately stuffed by Chris Rammer's really nice defensive play there. Going to bring up a fourth and two, and they're going to run it right back. Same formation. Chris going to tighten up that D-line. It's going to be a pass this time, though. Pressure coming. Throws over the mid, and it's caught by Brown. A little juke move, but doesn't gain much extra yardage there. But most importantly, they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. Really good throw under pressure by Wham Bam. As we are now into the second quarter. <clears throat> yeah, he did hadn't he did not have a lot of options. I think that was the only open receiver uh, that he had there. So made definitely made the right call there. It's going to be uh, zone coverage with a nope no blitz here. Good coverage. Oh oh no, he no coverage Swift. Breaks free of the coverage down the left-hand side. I didn't even see him. Everyone else was covered really tightly. But uh, Swift just coming out of the backfield from that RB position. Just a streak down the left-hand side. Just nothing fancy. Just, <laughs> just run towards the end zone. Oh, but he misses the extra point. That could be really important later on in this game. As now only a six-point lead for Kuka College. Gotta, gotta lock down those special teams. As uh, Chris now going to start his drive from the 25. This will be only his second offensive play so far this game. Going 
with this RPO uh, slant route option once again. And it looks like he may be audibling it to just a simple passing play out of the same formation. Yep. Over the middle. That was a risky throw. That linebacker was uh, dropping back in coverage. And able to swat it away. Chris Rammer's honestly luckily, lucky that one didn't get picked off. Second and ten now. Going to be another pass. Oh, wow. So, oh, no, he didn't. I thought he caught that. It got knocked out, possibly by his own teammate there. Tough break for Chris Rammers there. That would have brought up third and one. Instead, he's staring down now third and ten. It's going to be another passing play. Uh, watch for that hot route on the left on X. Tries to go for it, but gets sacked. Reddick coming in uh, with that pressure from the linebacker position. And uh, Wham Bam with a great stop. Is Chris going to go for it here on 4th and 18? This is a gutsy call. Let's see if it works out for him. 4th and 18. Only two routes going beyond the first down marker as well. Or, excuse me, three. So he will have some options here. Oh, throw over the middle, and it's caught for the first down. What a call there by Chris Rammers. The poise to just throw that ball perfectly where it needed to go and splits all three defenders. What a gutsy call, and it pays off. Chris Rammers able to continue this drive. Out to the flat here to the running back, Swift. Picks that one up in stride, and that's going to be another first down. As Chris now with some momentum, keeping this drive going, moving the chains. Now uh, on his opponent's 43-yard line. It's going to be another pass, double streaks. Pressure coming. He gets it out. Oh, it's a screen. Swift with some blockers in front, and that's another first down. I remember back when I played Madden back in, like, 2006 or whatever. Uh, I remember screenplays just being terrible. Like, the, I don't know if this, it was the AI or whatever, but it was just, it would, they were just bad. I would never, I would always lose yards whenever I ran that play um, in the old Maddens. So, glad to see they've kind of improved them a little bit. I think the, I think the offensive line were just way too slow in the old Madden games back in the day. Um, and uh, it's going to be another timeout taken by Wham Bam from Kook College. Did not like uh, what he saw there. Ooh, camera getting a little shaky there. That's weird. Okay, here we go. First and 10 from his opponent's 30-yard line. Chris Ram is going to call uh, another passing play. Watch for Goddard on that crossing route, the tight end. He's got the hot route. Nobody open. Finally tosses it up, and that's going to be an easy interception for Kuka. Slay coming down with that one. Chris, I think, felt the pressure coming and just picked a receiver. But uh, Kuka was all over that one. And now Chris will really need a stop here, or this game may start to get out of hand. Kuka already up six. It's going to be a run immediately stuffed. And it's going to be a loss of three on the play. Great defensive stand there. As we hit the two-minute warning in the first half. Chris needs a... Uh, <clears throat> Chris needs a big turnover here. Big interception. Maybe force a fumble. Passing play from Kuka. He's got crossing routes going either side. Tosses it up, and it's broken up by both defenders. 
<clears throat> third and 13 now. It's exactly what you want from Chris Rammers. Uh, Kuka College going backwards during this drive. I'd be really interested to see if Kuka goes for it on fourth here, if Chris stops him on this play. Pressure's coming. He tosses it up. And Brown catches it. Incredible. I don't know how he got that ball out before he got sacked there. The offensive line just completely collapsed, but it didn't matter. A.J. Brown just hauls this one in. And Kuka College now likely going to be up 13. He may go for, actually for a two-point conversion here considering he missed the uh, extra point after the last touchdown. So honestly, that's probably what I would do if I was him. Yep, there it is. Uh, it is, in fact, going for the two-point conversion. This would bring it to a clean two-touchdown lead. Let's see if he can convert over the middle. And it's broken up. Good defense by Chris Rammers. And this missed extra point could still come back to haunt Wham Bam later on this game let's see if chris can make a comeback uh get at least some points on the board here before halftime he will have a chance with a minute 48 on the clock and uh oh, oh excuse me i i was incorrect earlier chris rammers was the one calling the timeout so he will only have one timeout here for this drive i apologize i thought it was wham bam calling timeouts earlier So a minute 48 to play and one timeout left. Let's see what magic Chris has got left in this first half. Watch for the Y receiver on that slant post route out to the end. From the shotgun. Straight over the middle. Ooh, somehow gets it through the defenders. Incredible. <clears throat> nice play there. It's going to be a no huddle straight into the next play. Uh, very similar looking play, similar uh, formation here for Chris. Out of the shotgun once again. This time going to the sidelines. Watkins staying inbounds, getting a few more extra yards, and going to stop the clock. Really nice job there from Chris. Sees that open man, gets in the ball. It looks like this is a run, possibly screen option. Nope, going to audible to... Yep, going to audible back to the running play here. Or possibly it's going to be a screen pass to Smith. Let's see what he ends up deciding to do. <clears throat> oh, the receiver got held up there during the route. Unfortunate. That would have been on target. That'll bring up second and ten now. With a minute 16 on the clock left in the first half. It's going to be another passing play. It's going to be a curl. A couple slants and a crossing route for Goddard. Watch the crossing route from Goddard over the middle of the field. Looks like uh, Kuka going to be bringing some pressure here with the blitz. They have two stacked on the left-hand side of the line. And Goddard's going to be running out on a route. So, uh, And so is Swift. So this is going to get dicey. He's got to get rid of it. He throws it out. And it's touchdown post-University Eagles. Wow, I honestly, I did not want to know what to think when he released that ball. He had Goddard wide open in the middle of the field, but instead throws it into coverage, but it ends up working out anyways. And that extra point is good. A uh, much slimmer five-point lead now for Kuka. But still a minute and 12 left, so Kuka could still put some more points on the board here before halftime and has all three timeouts to work with. Uh-oh, this kick may go out of bounds here. Luckily for Chris, it does not. And Kuka will start their drive on the 25-yard line. Sarmer's making some adjustments here. <clears throat> it's going to be a draw. And that one gets stuffed immediately. One yard gain. Bam bam, out of the shotgun once again. It's going to be a pass this time. Looking over the middle, finds Goddard. But doesn't quite get to the first down marker which will bring up third and one. 
47 seconds to play. <clears throat> Over the middle, and it's picked off by Edmonds! Chris Rammers with an interception, and he's got some room to run now. He gets past one, gets past two, and it's a pick six for Chris Rammers. What a play. Finds that interception across the middle of the field and able to run it all the way back. And that is absolutely not what you want if you're Kuka College there. Just got the beat on that route over the middle of the field, and Chris will nail this extra point. And take the lead by two now. Kuka College definitely kicking themselves for missing that extra point earlier. As this game would have been tied up. But still 38 seconds to go. Anything could happen. Kuka could still go for some more points before halftime. They still have two timeouts to work with. And even if they get a field goal, that could be huge because they'll take the lead back with a field goal. They're only uh, down two. <clears throat> See if Chris can get another big stop. Bad snap, but Hurts fields it. Throws left. Swift. Gonna nice reception there. Gonna be a first down and stop the clock as he gets out of bounds. Nice job leading his receiver, just hitting him in stride as uh, we're seeing Chris make some more adjustments here. Another shotgun formation coming out for Wham Bam. He's got nobody really open. Pressure coming. Finally, Swift breaks free. Has to turn around to catch this one. Can Chris get him in time? No, he cannot. And both of these offenses just firing on all cylinders as uh, Wham Bam going to take the lead back. Does he go for another two-point conversion, though? That is the question. It's kind of debatable what you should do at this point. You're up four. You convert on this uh, on this two-point conversion, you're up six. Still wouldn't really make much of a difference. Being up four versus up six is essentially the same thing. And it looks like he will just be doing the regular old extra point here. And this, oh, he misses again. Oh, no. Wham Bam having such a hard time getting these P, uh, PATs through. Unfortunate misplay. And now with 25 seconds and a timeout, Chris Rambers could put additional points on the board before halftime here. Let's see what he decides to do. Look for some out routes. Receivers getting towards the sideline here. So he can stop the clock without needing to use a timeout. <clears throat> and he will be going for it. Brown's going to be on a streak on the left-hand side. And there's only one safety back. So that safety back there is going to have to choose. So Chris Rammers needs to be watching that safety. In the middle of the field, and whichever side he goes to, throw to the other side. Blakelock winding down, finally snaps it. He's got someone open on the right-hand side. No, he's not open. Hand comes up at the last second to swat that one away. Good defense there from Kuka. I thought he had him there. Just a little bit underthrown. Similar play once again. Chris Rammers out of the shotgun. Audible and Goddard back uh, on pass protection. Interesting choice. Only going to have three receiver routes to work with here. If Wham Bam drops back in coverage, this might not work out. Pressure coming. Tosses it over the mid. This is risky. Bobbled and incomplete. That was very risky. 14 seconds left. Chris still holding on to that last timeout as well. 
on third and ten. Definitely fourth down territory here with only 14 seconds left in the half. I forget who got the, uh, who elected to receive, but um, if Chris does get the ball first uh, in the third quarter, that would be really good. I'm, I forget who actually uh, selected to receive first in the game. I think it was... I think it was Kuka who got the ball first. Yeah, because they scored first, and everyone was scoring. So uh, Chris will get the ball to start the third quarter here. Let's see if he can get some more points, though. Tosses it right, but his man's all over him. Oh, the coverage breaks down. And Chris just going to get out of bounds. Great call there not to try to juke in middle of the field with only six seconds left. He gets out of bounds, and it's going to be on his opponent's 38-yard line. It's time for a field goal attempt here. This is going to be a long one. 55-yarder. Oh, it's going to be close. It's up. And it's good. And Chris Rammers tacking on a few more points there. And Kuka now with just a one-point lead. Going to be heading into the second half here. Wow. Squip kick. And he's just going to lay down with one second left. It's going to give Kuka College time for one more play. It's going to be a full deep zone here for Chris. And it's just going to be a quick toss over the middle. And that will end the half. What a half. 25 to 24. Very high scoring game. I'm gonna go to gonna go out on a limb here and say the Eagles are gonna win this one. But uh Uh oh, getting some lag. Please, no. All right, yep, and Chris Ramers will receive the ball here to start the second half. This is actually really important because only being down one, having the opportunity to score first here is massive. Touchback, and he's going to start his drive at the 25. Be a, a draw run for Chris Ramos to start things off. Defense really packing the right hand side. He's going to send Brown in motion, try to spread the defense a little bit. Oh, it's going to be uh, Jalen Hurts' design run. He's going to get find an opening and pick up about 12 there. Really nice job there from Chris uh, having Hurts just kind of hold on to that one. First and ten. A lot of receivers in motion here. Wide open left-hand side of the field, and he's going to motion Goddard out as well. Going to watch that uh, Watch that safety. He's going to drop back into cover. It's going to be another QB take, and it's going to be a first down. Hurts has got room. He's, the, he's running the 20, the 10. The five and touchdown. Chris Rammer says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Runs the same play, just uh, mirrored there to the left side. And this time comes away with a touchdown. Massive play for Chris as he will take the lead now up five. Definitely go for the two point conversion here for sure to put yourself up seven, uh, which is looks like he's no, he's actually just going to take the one point. Interesting. I don't know about this call, honestly. Although, maybe maybe Chris is just five-heading this right now because Kuka has had real difficulties uh, hitting their extra points this game. So, 
Maybe that is the right call. I don't know. But uh, me personally, I would have gone for the two-point conversion there for sure. Um, try to put myself up seven. Plus, Chris has just been popping off with these RPOs lately. Um, just think he could have easily punched that one in. But he's going to play it safe. He's going to take the one point. Who knows? Maybe that'll be what he'll need to uh, to take this dub. And this is only game one, by the way. These players very evenly matched. And also playing the same team. Wow, Chris really packing the line here. He's going to toss it up. Oh, great defense. Gets a hand up just in time to bat that one away. I was nervous, honestly. That looked like it could have gone for six. Kuka College definitely not afraid to just launch one downfield. Shotgun formation once again. Good protection. Tosses it out to Swift in the flat. Spin move. Doesn't get much there. It's me gain a five. That'll bring up third and five. Good protection again over the middle. And it's caught. Tough catch. Hit as he catches the ball there. But it will be a first down. I think the team that gets a big defensive stop here in the second half will probably be the one that takes the dub as both offenses are just on fire right now. Absolutely lights out. Nerds dropping back. Scrambling. And just going to run and pick up a few here. Actually ends up picking up eight on that scramble. <clears throat> Once again, out of the shotgun. Lam Bam has loved the shotgun formation so far in the second half. It's going to be a run this time. And Swift will pick up the first down and then some. Up now to uh, Chris's 28-yard line. Another pass crossing route in front. Kuka picks up six. Another quick play call. No huddle offense. Cox going back in coverage. And uh, Kuka just going to scramble with Hertz again. Pick up a couple. That'll bring up third and two. Be another run. Oh, it's going to be close. They give it to him. Wow, they give him the first down there. Generous spot, if I do say so myself. Generous spot from the officials there. But uh, Swift just barely picking that one up for Kuka College. Tossing it out to the flat immediately. Oh, nice little move there from Swift. That'll bring up second and in inches, but it's uh, essentially first and goal here. Oh, that's going to be a really nice draw run, but he's stuffed at the goal line. We'll pick up the first down. That'll bring up first and goal. But uh, a nice play call there. Got him open in the flat, and that's a touchdown as he gets the ball across the line. That was just one of those plays where uh, Wham Bam knew exactly where he wanted to throw that ball before the play even happened. Tosses it out to Swift immediately, and he pulls it in. And we're going to be all tied up now. Cuckoo can take the lead off of this uh, PAT. This has been, so far this game, uh, the story of this game. He, Kuga, Wham Bam has missed two extra points. See if he misses this one. Nope, this one is right down Broadway, as Slap says. And he'll take the lead by one. So this is a real nail-biter so far to start off this series. And uh, really looking forward to the rest of these games.
these players just going back and forth. <clears throat> We're not even to the fourth quarter, and there have been 63 points scored. I don't know if both players are just bad at defense or <laughs> really good at offense, but probably both. <laughs> Either way, it's going to be, uh, looks like another RPO for Chris Rammers. Going to be quick toss out to the left, but uh, Maddox breaks free of his blocker. And Chris only able to pick up four on that play. I like how many options that play gives you, though. Like, you can run with Hurts, you can run with Swift, you can toss it off to a receiver quickly. And uh, kind of call that same play just reversed. He's going to give it to Swift this time. Gets in front of his blocker, but does pick up the first down. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Five minutes left to play. Kuka College up by one. Like another, looks like another draw run here from Chris. Going to keep it. Hurts with some space. A little bit too east to west there. I would have liked to see a little bit more north to south. Probably could have got a couple more yards, but um, great run nevertheless. And another first down for Chris Rammers. This feels like one of those games where whoever gets the ball last is going to win. Just everyone scoring on every drive. A lot of motion here. Likely man coverage here for uh, Kuka. Let's see if Chris can take advantage. Oh, and there's a flag on the play. Uh, not sure what the flag was, but it was against Chris Rammers. Legal formation maybe or something? I don't know. First and 15 now. Out of the shotgun. Hurts dropping back. Has a man open in the flat. And we'll pick up 10. But with the penalty, that'll bring up second and five now. As Kuka going to take a time out there. Maybe just trying to refresh their players a bit. Streamers out of the shotgun again here. Oh, over the middle. Oh, and it's picked off. Kuka College with a key interception here. Exactly what I said, right? Whoever gets that big defensive stop is likely going to come away with a W here. Massive play for Kuka College and Wimbam. Chris going to have to dig deep and find a stop of his own here. He's going to have any hope of taking game one in this, three, in this best of three series. play here. Good play call. Wham Bam just looking to run some time off the clock here.
another run. This running defense has been really stellar so far this game from Chris. That's going to bring up third and five. Do they run again? Nope. Passing play this time. Over the middle, and he brings it in. Wow, tough catch. But that's going to be a first down for Kuka. Time quickly ticking down. 2.30 to play now. It's going to be another side, uh, another run. Excuse me. Uh, gets out of bounds, though, which is actually good for Chris. Second and three. Chris needs a stop. Kuka has not run the ball too much this game, but is definitely doing so a lot this drive. With a one-point lead and the ball, they just want to burn as much time as possible. That run's going nowhere, though. <clears throat> now it's third and one. Another run straight up the middle. And this one will get the first down. Really unfortunate there for Chris. Needed that stop. As we hit the two-minute warning, Cougar College with a very slim one-point lead, but possession of the ball, crucially. Chris still has all three timeouts to work with, though, so he may want to start calling them here, to be honest. Maybe give Kuka uh, one more first down, see if they get one more first down, and then start calling the timeouts. Another run straight up the middle. Stuffed once again. See if he decides to start calling the timeouts. Nope, he's going to hold on to him. Probably a fine decision for now. But with every play call, that brings an additional 30-ish seconds off the clock. Be a passing play here. Good protection. Finally, the pressure comes. Hit as he's thrown. Uh, hit as he throws, and uh, it's going to be incomplete. Third and eight. Very important play right here. And, uh, oh, it looks like Chris did take a timeout there. Prevent that uh, clock from getting too low. Threats out of the shotgun. Good protection. Throws it left. Oh, good tackle in open field there. That's going to bring up fourth down. This is this is honestly probably the the game right here. If Chris is able to uh, get a stop, he gets the ball back, he's probably going to be able to at least get a field goal as time expires. But if Kuka, if Wham Bam is able to get the first down here, Chris only has one timeout left. That's just not going to be enough, and he'll be able to just take a knee and end this game. Here it is. It's all going to come down to this play. Hurts out of the shotgun. Over the middle, and it's caught by Brown, and that is probably going to be the game. Chris will call a timeout, but unless he gets a crazy interception here or a fumble, that is likely going to do it. Wham Bam with the lead and the ball, and only 64 seconds left to, go, to play. It is just going to be a kneel down here. I don't think there's much that, uh, that Chris can do. Yep, completely out of timeouts. And that is going to do it for game one. Wow, really close game. But uh, Chris Rammers will fall. By a score of 32-31. to 31. Also, good call from Kuka here to just kneel down. Um, don't want to risk a fumble. Don't want to risk an interception. Uh, could swing the game, and that would be extremely unfortunate. So... Good call here from Kuka. Started the play calls off this game very aggressive and has ended them uh, pretty conservative, actually. Um, I don't know if that was lag or whatever, missing those PATs, but maybe I'm definitely going to look to clean that up in game two. 
But that'll do it for game one. We'll be right back with game two in just a minute. Don't go anywhere.
All right, welcome back. We are in it here for game two. Chris Rammers losing by a single point to Wham Bam in game one. And uh, Chris going to be using the Dolphins here. So uh, got a team swap coming out. There we go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. When I asked Chris what teams he was going to play before the game, he said, uh, probably Eagles, maybe 49ers. And here we are with the Dolphins for some reason. <laughs> He's making a lot of adjustments pre-game. Let's see if they, uh, if they work out for him. Kuka sticking with the Eagles. Good protection, and uh, got it with a nice little juke move. Gets past one, and that's going to be a first down right off the rip for Kuka. Got Goddard again, and it's the same, that same juke move. Gets another first down. Chris needs to figure out how to stop that, that crossing route in the tight end. Draw run. Ooh, hole closes tightly. And only a pickup of three. Could have been much more there, but a good play by the D lineman to get off that block and make the tackle. Hurts out of the shotgun again. And it's another first down for Wham Bam. Kuka picking up, Wham Bam and Kuka picking up right where they left off in game one with this high-powered offense. Quick pass over to the right. And uh, another first down, I believe the third straight for Wham Bam on this opening drive. Swift straight up the middle. That run gets stuffed. Gain of one. Pressure coming and a sack for Chris Rammers. Unblocked D lineman just coming in, or maybe that was the linebacker. I couldn't see. That's gonna bring up third and twenty. Now it's gonna be a draw. Nope, it's a play action. Throwing it to the left. He's got his receiver wide open. Just a breakdown in coverage there on the left hand side. Not exactly wide open, but gets it through the zone defense there. And uh, wham bam, after taking that sack. Comes away with the touchdown. The kick is up, and the kick is good. These PATs not as uh, guaranteed as you normally think them with uh, Wham Bam missing both, missing two PATs in that first game, but nailing this one. And now Chris going to get the ball back. Start his drive on the 25-yard line. 
interested to see uh, how this Dolphins offense differs from the uh, Eagles offense that he was using the last game. strong side formation here. Going to be a passing play. He gets it to his receiver on the slant for a quick first down. Good start from Chris. It's going to be the same exact play. This time he's going to pass it off to the running back, and he's got some room on the outside. Probably should have cut up field there, but uh, still a gain of six. Passing play out of the shotgun for Chris Rammers. Tua dropping back. Lobbing it left in single coverage. And he's got his man. Touchdown, Dolphins. Chris Rammers hits his receiver in stride. Beautiful throw. To the PAT, we are all tied up. Both of these teams still with these high powered offenses putting tons of points on the board. Already two touchdowns in the first quarter. This is going to be a return here. For Kuka, gets out to the 27. That's Wayne Bam going to start his second drive. As we have a timeout, this one taken by Chris Rammers. Wanted to reset that uh, play call. <clears throat> oh, overthrows his receiver just a tad. And that's going to be incomplete. Second and ten now for Wham Bam. Draw play. Ooh. That hole could have opened up in a second. But good tackle from Chris Rammer's defense. And that's going to bring up third and seven. Puts out a shotgun. Quick throw out to the right. Ooh, swift a little move. And gets the first down. A nice juke there to get the first down. That would have been close if uh, Chris was able to make that tackle in open field. And that'll do it for the first quarter here in game two. And Chris did lose game one by a single point, so needs to take this game to bring us to a deciding game three, or Wham Bam will come away with a 2-0 sweep. Wham Bam, first and ten from the 41. Oh, it's a QB keep, and he gets dropped immediately. 
Not the right decision there. A loss of three on the play. Great uh, rush there from Chris. Quick throw out to the flat. A little juke. Picks up an extra yard. But uh, just a couple there on that play. Third and five now. It's Wayne Bam slowly marching up the field. It's going to be a run. Oh, and it's he's dropped immediately, and that's going to be a fourth and six. And he's going for it. The punt is not in this man's playbook. Quick toss out to the right. Swift going to haul that one in. Another juke is going to get a couple more yards. That has got to be so frustrating for Chris Rammers. So many fourth down conversions from Wambam. I don't think he's turned it over on downs or punted a single time so far this series. <clears throat> Chris just unable to stop him on fourth down. <clears throat> Dropping back. Pressure's coming, and it's going to be another sack for Chris Rammers. This second of the game. Great pressure. That'll bring up second and 19. More pressure coming. Over the middle, and it's picked off by Apple. Great pick. Great interception there by Chris Rammers. That's exactly what he needed. I'm trying to get some points on the board before the halftime. Just stepped right in front of that receiver. Strammers and Tua from the shotgun here. Got to hike it soon. And that's going to be delay of game. Chris Strammers taking way too long on those uh, the pre-snap adjustments. Got to be quicker than that. First and 15 now. Finally, he snaps the ball. Pressure coming. Tosses it out left, and he's got his man. What a catch in triple coverage. What a play. Barely got that ball out on time. <clears throat> Once again from the shotgun. Ooh, big pressure coming. Three right on top of him, and it's a fumble. Recovered by Sweat, and he's just going to get up and run it all the way back. Oh, no. Tragedy for Chris Rammers. As uh, Tua gets dropped, fumbles, recovery, touchdown. Just like that, Wham Bam gets the lead back. Extra point is up, and extra point is good. Seven point lead now for Wham Bam. Chris has the ball though. A little over a little under two and a half to play in the first half.
Another delay a game for streamers. Really needs to work on that uh, and practice this week. There's no reason your pre game your pre play call adjustments need to be taking that long. <clears throat> Passing out wide. And it's picked off. Picked off and instantly out of bounds. Definitely not what you want if you're Chris Rammers. Just kind of tossed that one up. His receiver didn't turn around. As uh, Wham Bam barely got both feet in for that interception. And now Wham Bam has a chance to really blow this game wide open. Although a good defensive stop to start off this defensive stand for Chris. Three yard loss on the play, second and 13. There it's pressure coming. Ball is out. Oh, I thought it was a fumble. They're gonna give it an incomplete pass as we hit the two minute warning. It's going to bring up third and 13. Crossing routes. Kurtz scrambling. He's going to try to run this one. Picks up a couple, but that's still going to bring up fourth down. But as we know, punt is not in this player's playbook. Bam Bam certainly going to go for it here. Shotgun, three receivers. Good protection. He's got his man open, and that's going to be a first down. Another fourth down conversion. Incredible fourth down performance from Wham Bam tonight. <clears throat> Pressure coming. Gets that ball out to his receiver. Nice tackle in open field, though. That could have easily been a touchdown. Oh, wide open hole. And oh, he gets plastered. Diving for that first down. That's going to bring up first and goal. Wham Bam trying to open this one up. And take a two-touchdown lead. Another draw run, trying to muscle his way in. Not going to be able to do it. Second and goal now. Second and inches, really. And Chris Ram is going to take his last time out of the half. Doesn't get in. Wow, I thought he had it there. Third and goal. And he's going to waltz right in. Untouched that time. And honestly, I think Wham Bam scored a little bit too fast there. If I was him, I would have tried to burn off more time off the clock. Because Chris Rammers now has 38 seconds to work with to try to get uh, some points back before the half.
Out routes here for Chris. Good play call. Try to get uh, get a catch, get out of bounds. No timeouts to work with. Oh, does not release that ball quick enough. Oh, he's going to throw it deep. And he's got his man again. Tyreek Hill pulls it in. And Chris Rammers scores again. Just saw that single coverage, just threw it up. Is up and good. One touchdown advantage now for Wham Bam. It's going to be a run back here. Twenty-three seconds. Let's see if Wham Bam just calls a run here, or if he tries to throw something deep. He's down the left-hand side. Got her. Gonna get out of bounds, and Wham Bam's not done. He wants more points. Ooh. Legend of Seaver too far that time. That's going to bring up second and 10. 15 seconds to go now. Still all three timeouts for Wham Bam as well. Good protection. Finally scrambling out. Hit as he throws. And that's going to bring up third and 10. Eight seconds to play now in this first half. He's got Swift on the curl route on the left side. Four seconds to play now on the 44-yard line. Is that close enough for a field goal? He's going to go for it here. It's going to be a long one. Kick is up. And it's good. Just barely. And a 10-point lead now for Wham Bam heading into the second half. Squib kick and it's off the helmet. <laughs> that was weird. All right, Chris Rammers with the ball here once again to start the second half. Dropping back. Tossing it deep again, but this time there's two in coverage. 
And it's picked off. Blackenship with his second interception of the series. Running it back almost to the 50-yard line. Just tried to air that one out. It worked before, but uh, Wayne Bam not going to fall for that same play again. Wambam with a chance to put this one potentially out of reach for Chris. Oh, pressure coming, and that's going to be another sack for Chris. His third sack of the series. Third and 19 now. Quick pass out to Goddard, and he drops it. Fourth and 19. Does Wham Bam go for it here? Wow, he's actually punting. My mind is blown. It's going to be a fake punt. Wow, he actually punted it. Good bounce for uh, Chris Rammers, and he'll start his drive on the 20. back has a man on the left side and he makes the reception good job and Chris just waiting for those routes to develop Bring it out to the right Makes the catch once again, gain of six. Hit as he throws, and that's going to bring up third and four. Back over the middle. Beautiful throw to Waddle, who picks off the juke move, but he gets dropped at the eight-yard line. And that's going to bring up first and goal. Excellent play from Chris Rammers, keeping himself in this game. Still needs to punch it into the end zone, though. Quick pass out to the left, and uh, that screen was read immediately by Wham Bam. No gain on the play. Second and goal now. Over to Waddle, and he gets in. Nice play for Chris Rammers once again. Jalen Waddle, his second reception of the drive, and his first touchdown tonight. Extra point will put Chris down just three points. Kick is up and good. 24 to 21, Wham Bam again with a slim lead. Chris has clawed his way back.
Pressure coming over the middle. Quick pass and catch. Gain is six for Wham Bam. And uh, Chris going to take a timeout there. <clears throat> These timeouts are uh, a little bit random. Not sure exactly what he's going for. But could come back to haunt him. The draw play. And just a gain of two. Third and two now. Bam Bam just trying to run more time off the clock here. Probably going to be another running play here. Nope. It's a pass. Quick pass out to the right. Does make the first down, though. Another run. And another stuff. Chris Rammer's run defense has been phenomenal so far this series. And it's really helped him stay close with Wham Bam. Second and nine. Quarterback keep this time. And Hurts just going to slide down. Third and five as we end the third quarter. Chris did not allow a single point in the third quarter. Good stop there with the help of the sack. Forced Wham Bam to punt it away. And I believe that was Wham Bam's only drive of the third quarter. It's now potentially the last five minutes left to play in this series. Or maybe Chris Rammers will make the comeback. Fourth and one now. This is a big play. Chris can get a stop here. He could look to take the lead. Pressure coming. He gets it off. And another fourth down conversion. So far, Wham Bam has only punted a single time on the fourth and 19. Anything less than fourth and 10. And he's going for it. Converts another one right there. Another run is stuffed. Gain of two. It's going to lob this one deep. Coverage is there, though. And Chris Rammer swats it down. Third and eight. Pressure coming, gets it off, gets it to his man, but uh, not the first down. Fourth and two, now another big fourth down. Can Chris finally get a stop on fourth down? No, he cannot. <laughs> Cotter once again hauls that one in. And it's going to be another first down for Wham Bam. Man, if Wham Bam is able to run the time, run the clock down and score a touchdown, it's going to be really hard for Chris to extend this to game three. Another ring of play this time with an opening. Swift gets to the outside and a big run. Possibly the biggest run of this series so far for Wham Bam. Finally gets an opening in the defense for this running play. As we hit the two minute warning. Up. 
another run and yeah wham bam just looking to take some time off that clock only one timeout left now for chris rammers as he calls one here If Wham Bam can just punch this in with running plays, that's going to be so huge for him as his team has a very greatly reduced chance to fumble right now. And it's going to be another running play up the middle. Chris Ramers spends his last time out. Third and three now. Crossing it left, gets the first down, not quite the touchdown yet, and uh, this is going to spell trouble. Chris Rammer's running out of time now, and if Wayne Bam's able to punch it into the end zone, that's going to be massive. He's just going to kneel it down. Oh yeah, is that the game? Yeah, that's the game. All he needed was that first down. He didn't even need a touchdown. It's over. Chris Rammer's with no more timeouts. And that's going to do it. Kuka College will take the series 2-0. Congratulations to them. Chris Armas will fall to, I believe, 2-1 and one on the season. I'll have to double-check that. But, uh, yep, that's going to do it. And a very close series. Well played to both players. Uh, Kuka College takes the first game. Uh, what was it 23-21, I think? No. I'm trying to remember what the score of the first game was. Oh, Chris sent it to me. 32-31, uh, and then takes game two here, 24-21. So uh, that's going to do it for this stream here, but we've got another Madden match coming up for you in uh, just about 13 minutes, and that's going to be uh, Baller Steppa taking on... Uh... Baller Steppa taking on Lycoming College, Poggers. All right, so we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 